Hey guys! Today I'm taking you guys actually to a secret location this time. When I say we, it's me and a special guest. So I've been told to wear something super comfy. I was actually gonna wear a little dress, but I got told off and my special guest told me not to. So I swapped here to tracksuits and trainers. I don't know why, we must soon find out. Anyways guys, I'll see you at the secret location. to introduce Kiki who's here to tell us all about the Filipino culture and where where are we at? We are actually in Alaviga right now. They have like a little um, market here that sells a lot of like different Filipino sweet food. So we'll have Gabriella try some of those. For the let's first time. She, let's see if she will like it. You know what? I actually have very high hopes for this because I feel like the food would be very well flavored. Let's see if I like it and it's going to be my first time actually. I've never tried it in my life. You yeah. have to try it. I'll let you try some of the most famous ones. So mm. that do they do like proper traditional food here as well? That's what I want. Which one's with? Sanki So I'll let you try this one. Yeah. It's called kikiam. It's made of ground fish meat. Mm, that sounds delicious. You said this was mango. Do you have it with what kind of paste? Shrimp paste. Ooh. It is crazy, but the taste all together it's amazing. I just, I, I just bought it. Sir? Huh? Vacation. No, no, we live in Dubai, but this one I wanted to really try Filipino food. I've never tried it. You should try it. I know, like that's what I'm here for. <laughs> What's mm -hmm. the best thing? Mm -hmm. okay. Try this one and our. What's this one? This one is a uh, sticker rice. Oh, this one is. She doesn't know what that means. It's actually a. Uh, sticker rice, mom. Sticker rice. It's like a dessert. Or something. Amazing. <laughs> My reaction is. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that looks so delicious. You will have too much followers. Oh, you yeah? have to. <laughs> you have and to you subscribe. Will have too much money also. Oh, but then I'll come and spend it here. <laughs> and your age and your contact. <laughs> oh, okay. And my number. <laughs> Oh, huh? <laughs> we're getting we're gaining subscribers over here. Thank you, mommy, very really much. Salam po. Salamat po. Salamat. Salamat Thank you. Po. You'll have to Which choose one? your sauce. Mm. Mm. You know what? I like sweet. Sweet. Huh? So spicy. Thank you, po, mom, sir. Yeah. It's gonna be the spicy one. Okay. Mm. What do you say? It's like sweet and spicy. It's not too spicy, but I can definitely feel a tiny bit of heat. But the actual flavor is like it's like in the squid in the batter, right? It's super nice, super nice. I could just have that like watching TV and do that. Yes, definitely. That's the best for it. <laughs> super super nice. So Kikiam passed for the first Filipino food Bye. test. Did it pass? It did. <laughs> And what about this? This is called okoy. It's made of papaya, shredded papaya with the shrimps in it, and it's fried, deep fried. So why don't we get that and like the banana? Okay. This one is sweet. There's also a banana inside it. Okay. Spring roll. Yeah, this is spring roll. Can we have that? Okoy. Yes. Okoy. Basically like a plantain. It's basically plantain. <laughs> yeah. So. This is the next day, so we're just gonna find somewhere to sit. So this is how it looks like here. So cute. Mm, I'm so excited. So tell me, what exactly is this? This is called okoy. It's actually a shredded um, carrots and papaya with shrimp. Ooh. And Very I exotic. think it's, uh, they mixed it like with flour so that it will stick together and they will deep fry it. Huh? And it's always best with spicy vinegar. Take you know what? Out. I've always, always wanted to try Filipino food. But like, it's so crazy. But like in the UK, it's not the biggest community. So they don't have Filipino restaurants, restaurants. in the UK. Yeah. And this, banana, we call it banana cube. It's supposed to be in a skewers. Oh. <laughs> banana. But yeah, really banana cube. Yeah. Banana in Filipino is sagging. Saggy. Look at this disrespect. She brought a fork. I'm trying to get into the like. No, I know, just want you to be comfortable. Into the eating. culture. No, man, I'm comfortable with the sticks. Don't watch me. Oh, I said I'm comfortable using this. So, like, I'm really confused. I'm like, Kiki, how do I use it? Like, chopsticks, but I can't even lift it. <laughs> That's not even a chopstick. I think you it's literally just, a stick. just... You'll just have to, like, poke it. 
It's all about the taste. It's not about how you eat it. So nice. And one more. One sec. Oh wait, how do I eat it? Cut it first. So See, she to... need to bring the knife and forks because look at the situation. I was trying to eat this with the sticks. It's oh, best food. to eat with the uh, with the hand. Hand. You have to dip it with oh. the sauce. All right, cool. How is it? It's nice. It's a bit different, but the flavor is nice. Right? Like an apple. It's crunchy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So, number two and number three passed. Mm -hmm. So far, we're, we're doing great, is guys. Is there any like meat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. There's oh, okay. a lot. I edible. just thought we'll, this was we'll, some we'll vegetarian thing you took me on the no. vegetarian <laughs> I'm like, where's the meat? <laughs> no, we no but it's good. Like, these are really good, like, for, like you said, like, the um, appetizers really really good yeah it's always different and different side of the philippines because i came from visayas region which is which is the middle of um, okay. philippines mm -hmm. so my dialect is different me i i speak ilongo i think i can say that a lot of there's a lot of feedbacks from a lot of foreigners as well the filipinos are very friendly even here i think you have met some filipino other than like I have to say, no word of a lie, the friendliest community I've ever met in my whole life. But we are um, influenced by a lot of different things. Even with our food, it's not everything uh, Filipino. Like, it's not purely Filipino sometimes. We are mixed with um, other Asian countries like mm -hmm. China. The Filipinos gather all the time mm. to, in celebration of... So it's, it's quite like family-oriented mm. community. In my city, we always have um, festivals. Mm. We call it fiesta. So whenever there's uh, the whole day, you'll have to open your house to everyone who will come in and then the whole family inside the house will prepare food and then any any guests or any visitors from from other other neighborhood or from other you know from other places is welcome to come in to your house and then try your food to and you know that's basically like a tradition in the Philippines like have some food that's so kind isn't get it? to know the family you know it's always like that. Why do you think so many people come to Dubai? Because it is like so heavily populated by Filipino mm. people here in Dubai. One of the reasons why people come here in Dubai is because like it's easy for relatives that are already in here mm -hmm. working to bring a relative okay. from home. And also I think there's a lot of job opportunities here mm -hmm. for Filipinos. I think one of the reasons why they come here because to support the family back home. What is it? So this is chicken head. Chicken head? This is the neck of the chicken here. What does it taste like? This chicken? Chicken, chicken. Yes. Oh my goodness. Chicken and pasta. Yes, right. This is scaring me. Chicken. I don't know if you can see by my face, but I'm traumatized. So, <laughs> it's basically just chicken. I have to try it. I have to. So, one tata. Guys, I'm scared. Chicken intestine. <laughs> really? So she said she doesn't know that the chicken doesn't have an intestine. I didn't like, even think they would have such thing. And why is it so long? Like this is bigger than the chicken. Capital of the Philippines is actually where I'm from. I gotta make some juice out of it. It's gonna be really sweet. So Gabby is trying to do the king. Let's go. Let's get the let's get the chicken intestine. <laughs> Are you ready? So this is called beef tapa. It's actually like Fried beef with egg and rice. And this one is the most exciting part. Chicken and just eat. Do I have to eat? Like, I think I'm just really nervous. I mean, that's I normal. didn't even know this would fit in the chicken. Like, what? Let's try it on. I don't know whether I should dip it first or should I just try it how it is? Have it with the vinegar as well. I just don't think what it is. You don't like it? Um. You know what, if no one told me what it was, I think it tastes fine. It's just that I keep thinking of what it actually is. <laughs> and there's like a strange flavor inside of it, so I keep thinking that's what the chicken ate and now I'm eating it. 
But they do clean it before. They clean it like inside and Sorry, outside. Sorry, it's just the other thing. But it tastes okay. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect to see egg in here. Egg, because that something... in the Philippines, actually, it's it's like a, Ooh, I like a full egg. meal uh, package. Because we call this tapsilog in the Philippines. It's log. Yes. It's perfect. It's like a good combo. This is actually like a dinner for you guys. But this is actually looks like breakfast. Yeah. The Philippines. It's just last night's dinner with egg. We call it leftovers. Not gonna lie, that's one, one thing that's not gonna get eaten today. Out of everything, which one is your favorite? Definitely like the meat. And my other favorite was the squid. The squid, yeah? Really? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so full. Everything that's gelatin, banana, jackfruit. Oh, it's gonna be so sweet. You have to help me with this one. This is the ice. <laughs> I'm very very full but I'm still like I had to make some space for this because this Kiki told me this you have to have to have this right it's like ice cream right and then there's like a mix of fruits shoot there's a lot of dairy in it <laughs> It's nice because it's like different textures and flavors at the same time. Yeah. Definitely now I feel like I want to visit um, the and it's all Very good. I'm very full, I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> Where are we by the way? Alriga. Say, I'm so glad I, I made the trip. It took me like an hour to get here. Bear in mind I'm in Dubai, so everything's closed. So she this actually is far. lives on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> on the other end of town. But we're here. In a very you know? crowded train. I literally feel like, I actually feel like I've traveled for one hour to a different country. One uh, hour train to Philippines. It's a big community from the Philippines. Yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah. So, any items to their hands? Our journey with Kiki has come to an end. Oh, I had fun, it was really fun. <laughs> Honestly, it was so so amazing to see, share the food, share the love, share the everything. I hope you had fun. I had fun, the food was amazing. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next vlog, bye!